just wanted to do a really short video to show you that uh, I put my money where my mouth is and I am so impressed with these Sailor Boy Pilot Bread crackers that I bought me a case of them off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below in the, in the description box. And I've done a couple of videos, so I'm sure I can dig one up and I'll put a link to that down below showing you uh, a video of me using these crackers. But I'm just so impressed with them because the shelf life, although the box I don't think actually has a shelf life written on it, it says 513F2030 A1. And I'm thinking, from what I read online, it's about a 10 year shelf life in the box. So I'm guessing that that 2030 is, is uh, 13th day of May. 2030 is the best buy. That's if you store them in the, the way you got them. The way they're shipped to you. I'm going to be breaking these down and putting them in uh, mylar bags and probably vacuum sealing but certainly putting some O2s in them. And uh, I won't worry about making like single portions of them because they have such a long shelf life once they're open. But I'll break them down to a more manageable because when you open these up you get this big long tube. Let me get this so I can keep it in the can of these. And that's just a lot. So I'll probably package them up maybe a half a tube or something like that. Maybe cut the tube into three. You get about 30 biscuits, I think, to a tube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 40 tubes, somewhere around there. 40 tubes, 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 into a mylar bag but I just wanted to show you that uh, I'm not talking smack <laughs> when I say that these are really good they're not they're not hard as rock like uh, some of your uh, long-term storage crackers that you see online that you can make yourself and all that and they're not as soft as a saltine cracker but if you've ever had a military MRE cracker, they are probably pretty close to one of those without the salt. These don't have any salt on them at all. But they're perfect for like making up to replace bread, to make a sandwich or something like that. Or spread some peanut butter PB2, you know, reconstituted on it, or some reconstituted cheese spread, or sloppy joes, or you know, that'd be really good to have for long food term food storage. So, I bought a case of them off of Amazon. They're not cheap, but I think it's cheaper to buy them this way. I think uh, one of the, uh, what do you want to call them? Freeze dried wholesale suppliers that sells cans and stuff do have a uh, pilot bread uh, in a tin, but I think they're a lot more expensive. Where, Per cracker than these are. I really highly recommend these. So let me put, let me finish this video. I'll put a link to the crackers on Amazon. That'll be an affiliate link. If you know, if you order using that link, it helps me out pennies on the dollar. And uh, I'll put a link to one of my videos where I use these in. So I'll see you in the next video.